And uh, they tried to reset relations, which we talked about on the last broadcast. And that cultivated into the annexation of Crimea. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Look, here's an audio file, folks. All right, give me a break. I've never said, you think I want to pay higher taxes? Oh, Jesus. That's another reason why we're, uh, the United States is legalizing immigrants. We need more taxes. Well, we do. We need more taxpayers. They destroy the institutions. As a matter of fact, I have put a point of emphasis not to destroy the institutions. But of course, what are you fucking talking about? Dude, you just need to eliminate the institutions of authority in there. That's fuck, that's in Iran. That I, I said that for Iran. What the fuck we were supposed to do? I said that for Iran, you idiot. Uh, okay, great. Great. Yeah, that's great. You moron. I said eliminate the institutions in Iran that are faithful to the Ayatollah. And of course, you idiots, you're trying to splice something. We're in the new age of uh, disinformation. That seems to be uh, the forte of most of the QN and Q tards and the MAGA tards out here. All right. And you're damn right. Aside from the immigration issue not being touched by either party in Washington, D.C., aside from it having to do with having more taxpayers, all right, this orange line represents foreign-born laborers that are working in America, and this blue line represents Americans that are actually working. How come this thing ain't coming? What the hell? How come this thing ain't popping up? God damn it, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, come on, Musk, get your shit straight, for Christ's sake. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, let's go back to the tweet. I just wanted to put a point of emphasis that the statistics don't lie. And municipal, that suggest that maybe I could be in some kind of a situation with this person if we happen to some so-called cross paths in some kind of negative capacity. <laughs> All right, a group is defined by its majority. Have you unblocked hair of the dog, Ouija Slayer, King of Bugs, and Urinator yet? If not, here's another $5 for their unblocked yeah. fund. How about no? All right, this is, this is another group of people here, stereotypical. These uh, neats, you know, that are autistic, for Christ's sake, that want to live vicariously through cartoons, for heaven's sake. All right, what's the stereotype of these people? They have no girlfriends, they look like <laughs> slovenly I shit, and they live with their ma. Jokes aside, what the hell do we do with the stock you advised? It went down to six bucks. Do I hold or what? I, well, first of all, uh, we were trading in general. And let me go ahead and talk about that stock, by the way. Let me go ahead and take a look at it. First of all, um, uh, we're seeing all-time highs in debt. We talked about that on the last broadcast. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jack the Lux Race. You stupid idiot! Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry, folks, all right? We also got Mama Luigi. You also going to talk about the Vosh incident? Hence, the L word was trending. Uh, I thought Elon Musk banned that word. I, I have no idea. All right, and I don't want to talk about Vosh. I don't even know why the left. I mean, that's another disgusting creature from the left over there. I mean, I'm not... Just because I am critical of the MAGA... Russian subversion that we are seeing here does not mean that I am somehow a Democrat or a leftist. I am not going to be somebody that's going to accept that we should be kowtowing to Vladimir Putin, even though we've tried over and over and over again with this dictator to try to have some level of diplomatic relations. So Vosh is just some fucking weirdo. I don't even want to acknowledge him, to be honest, all right? But hold on, I got uh, Vox Artificials here. It ain't leftism to acknowledge the ill behaviors of large corporations, you direction brain. Yeah, but uh, nobody's perfect. People aren't perfect. Corporations aren't perfect. All right? Uh, but guess what? Guess what uh, pays for all the entitlements that many of you losers are actually probably collecting? The majority of it is corporations that pay for that shit. The top 1% pay for like 60 plus percent of the fucking taxes out here. I think it's even higher. I think it's like 70%. Anyway, the proof you cite is artificial, boosting nonsense, propaganda. Yeah, just like you. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up, Vox, because I actually got a clip 
of the Magatards that were watching the Tucker Carlson propaganda piece with Putin. All right, and I'm going to show it here in a second. From the corporate press, they have financial incentive to promote the myth that nobody wants to work. Uh, dude, I'm in the fucking ground floor. I, I employ people, all right? I mean, these fucking American people want 20 bucks an hour to punch in a couple of buttons on a fucking cash register, put some merchandise in a bag, and say, thank you, come again. All right? Fucking give me a break. Don't give me this shit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'd buy anyway that as I was saying, dollar. nobody wants that, and uh, we need to mass import illegals who work for nothing. I agree with that. I'm not. Hey, listen. If you're an illegal immigrant and you ain't working in this country, you need to be, you need to fucking get kicked the fuck out. You need to k- get kicked the fuck out. That's all there is to it. But if you're a productive member of our country and you're building shit or you're laying floors or you're cutting grass or you're cleaning shitters or I don't know, have you gone to a fucking five-star restaurant or a Michelin star restaurant? Have you ever been to the back? It's fucking it's fucking uh, little Mexico back there. All right, while you fucking people are eating these fucking steaks that are like 250 a pop, the guys that are in the back making this shit are all straight out of fucking Tijuana or wherever the fuck they came from. So give me a damn break. Don't give me this crap. Jesus Christ. Do I hate them? Dude, I love America. I love the Constitution. And what is capitalism at its peak? It's when people are so successful, they're able to give their children a spoiled fucking brat existence when most parents are like, hey, I'm just giving, I love my kid. I'm just trying to give him everything. In actuality, what it's done, it's given them such a spoiled brat entitled mentality that they start entertaining these collectivist ideas. <laughs> or they start entertaining. What is it, Mad Thad? You're talking about economic opportunity. But what about those of us that may or may not be a registered sex offender? Oh, the God. job market for them is very limited. Go and do what some is your hard advice labor. For anyone listening that may or may not be one. Hard labor. <laughs> All right. And you'll get paid, dollar. believe it or not. You'll get paid. You keep saying losers and non-productive people would be executed in a communist society as if the commies wouldn't toss your fat, crippled ass off uh, a cliff. Here we go. Here's another here five go. dollars. Now get to the sucking. I want to bust a nut over your pretty you're, face. You're a, you're a piece of shit. You know, and, and Mama Luigi with a rumble rant, any chance for a Saturday night troll show? Look, I think that if this show goes without too much trolling, I'll, I'll consider showing up for a Saturday night troll show, all right? It's Super Bowl weekend, for heaven's sake. But uh, if there's not, you know, any of this trolling crap, then I'll consider a Saturday night troll show before the Super Bowl. All right, I'll consider it, but... I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. Buy that for a look dollar. at this shit here. Reminder that ghost breath smells like rotted dollar. chicken bones and Sasquatch underarms. So you can imagine how his microphone smells and the bacteria on his PC screen, lol. Oh, Jesus I'd Christ. Buy that for a dollar. All right. Watch stock dollar 10x for the next few hours. It went up to 17 bucks, you stupid moron. It's $13 and 44 cents. You're welcome at the Ghoster board February 8th. You moron. It went up to fucking 17 bucks and it was a day trading play. You fucking dumbass. All right. Anyway, Cindy Lauper's son, uh, you know, suspected of murder or some shit. All right. Anyway, let's take a look at the market. The Dow is down 54.64 points. All right, current average for the Dow is 38,671.69 points. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Put the PC shot on. Kits wants to be unbanned. Oh, I see. I see. All right. All right. I see it. We don't care about your gay and boring show. Just end the show, then end your end your life. Look at this. Fat hey! Hey! Shut up, asshole! I'd buy that Jesus for a Christ. Hey. My 30th birthday was yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah? If you would be so kind as to sing happy birthday, I promise to only make positive donos for the rest of the year. Oh, I'm so sure. I'm so sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll consider it. Hold on just a, a second. Dollar. Hey, kids, I'll unban you here. I'm just, I, I'm one person at the at the controls, but I'll unban you. All right? I, I understand what you're saying now. And we got Flames We're Golfing with three beers. Yo, Ghost, my employer has decided to give me a sizable contribution. Now, what do we do? We take a look at the data, right? What's it? <laughs> Oh, I'd Jesus Christ. Take a large dirty shit on a grill and use the bloody urine, grease, and liquid oh, shit Jesus mustard to create Christ. a Come tasty on, experience man. unlike anything you've ever tasted. Why would you donate you can that? Use the upper skulls of dead people as a bun. One plus Why one the fuck one would you donate level. that? 
Sick bastard. Anyway, we take a look at the data of INBS. All right, right off the bat, it's a news play. This is not some fucking Wall Street bet shit where, hey, everybody, let's go ahead and buy a dead stock. Let's go ahead and buy a stock that's got five fucking billion, six billion in fucking debt. <laughs> I'd buy oh, that Jesus Christ. This is Cody from the Alternate History oh, Hub. Good what God. if Ghost wasn't the crybaby who blocked people on X4 criticizing all him? All right, just shut it's up. It's pretty all unlikely, right. but for this scenario, just shut suppose your stupid Ghost wasn't the repetitive hole. autistic retard rages when people disagree with him. Uh, you're talking about retards. I mean, the guy that runs that fucking YouTube channel is an absolute tard, for heaven's sake. Give me a break. All right, let me go ahead and take... Uh, who, 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 uh, Kits does a flip, wants to be un, unbanned from fucking... Uh, from Rumble, all right? I got you off Rumble, all right? I got you off Rumble. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to the show here. Now, uh, we talked a little bit about stocks. And the, look, by the way, that's a decent strategy for day trading plays. Is going through those... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hour. Listen, Boomer, turn on Von Chat or Riot. How dare you leave us, Daddy Ghost? Turn I, on Von Chat. I do the ghost show on Von Chat. Chat or Riot. I do the ghost show on Von Chat, you piece of crap. Jesus Christ. You see what I got to put up with over here? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about cryptocurrency. Now, didn't I tell you that once I started seeing that legitimate institutional money was going into Bitcoin, the third largest holding? So what they're doing is they're going out there pumping Bitcoin. They're like, Bitcoin's the future. Bitcoin's uh, digital gold, even though they said the complete opposite in 2017 and 16. Now, because they're the third largest Bitcoin holder, <laughs> they're trying to pump this shit. My cum is really yummy. Oh, it is yummy God. in my tummy. No, I love to play come with on, my cummies man. in my fingers after I do the come cummies on. onto my tummy. I love to drink my cummies. It is so yummy. I'm fuck, sorry. Fuck, oh, fuck. Shut up, you racist bastard. Anyway, that should conclude the financial portion of the broadcast. I know you people don't care because most of you people are collecting off my fucking dime anyway. Uh, so anyway, look, let me get to uh, Twitter shoutouts because people, for whatever reason, are insisting that I do it. And if you'd like a Twitter shoutout live right here on the broadcast, all you've got to do is go to my Twitter account or X account right now, The Ghost Report, all one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report, and retweet this tweet right here, the uh, True Capitalist Radio episode 684, MAGA Russia Subversion is now live. If you retweet this tweet, I will give you a Twitter shout out live right here on the broadcast, all right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and get the Twitter shout outs right now! All right, let's see who retweeted this. We got Dak off P, Mr. Nguyen, XCQ. I'm not going to say that, all right? Prolapse P, don't worry, Prolapse P. We got your video, the next ghost show, man, even though it's probably a freak show, Geno X 1930. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Rando McFlando, Rich McConnell, Uncuckable Alpha, Oku's Bigly Jiggly Boobies, <laughs> Metal Warrior. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. All right, I'll get to you in a minute there. Girls just want to have guns. Ah, oh, come on, kits. All right, it's too soon. Uh, Vinny Kills, Sir Ghostus, Snow Chi Man, Lazy Dude, Arctic Shipping Oil. By the way, Arctic Capitalist is making a fortune off those fucking Arctic uh, uh, shipping companies that are now being used to defer shipping lanes that are being, uh, you know, disrupted because of the fucking Houthi shit that's going on in the Red Sea. So cheers to Arctic Capitalist, a member of the Inner Circle, uh, we got Ham Tara, Biscuit, the Green Chili Butt Sauce, real name, uh, the Chong Queen Crocodile, the Rich Big Dick Christo Fascist, Mad Thad, Cat Cans, Cornbread Man, J Sev, Ragu the Dagu Clown, Poncho McCanto, 9725, Autistics are living rent free in Ghost's head. Oh, yeah, I, I, that reminds me. I, I, I got to get to something. Uh, JK, Nocaro, uh, we got President J. Uh, read my name. I'm not gonna. I'm not reading this shit. All right. Uh, MF Mistake. <laughs> I'd buy uh, that speaking of Mr. Nguyen here, all right. Speaking I of Mr. Nguyen, Nguyen, I speak for the trees. The trees say they want your head. Oh Ambo great! Dodge yeah. the draft again. I think you shall be ganged up on in the trenches of Los Angeles. I demand you do a ghost show. F I, do I'll it. do it do when it. I do it. Do all right. It Stop. No, I'm not gonna boy. do it tonight. Are you fucking kidding me? 
It's Friday night, man. Anyway, we got Al Sneed, uh, Ghost Loves, but no, I don't, you idiot. Alternative History Hub is true talent. He's a tard, all right? And I guess that's what you got to do. You know, I should go incognito talking like a tard and see what happens. I'm, I'm serious, like making a, a whole other fucking account. And, hey, it's me. I'm a tard. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk like this and regurgitate a bunch of shit that I either read on Wikipedia or on Reddit. And then I'm going to just go ahead and post it on YouTube with some shit. I mean, give me a break, man. I can't stand that kind of fucking content. I can't stand it. We got Vox Art officials here. We got uh, Winston Fujimori, who is no longer a goddamn mod because he's, I don't know, he's a socialist or whatever he's turned into. Uh, Patrick Sturr, Mr. BN King, Beat Ghost Shitless, that's great, take a number. Cosmo, Maria Maria, LB Capitalist, uh, Dr. Whiskers McMoneybags, The Inner Circle Union, Ghost Equals Discount Rhino Salty Cracker. By the way, Salty Cracker, wasn't he ex-Antifa or some shit? That's another thing about these MAGA mouthpieces that are out here. These are these were all fucking socialists and communists and shit. I even tweeted about that. I'll get to that even in just a second. Uh, we got Hamick Etchell, uh, advisor of TCR, not an advisor, by the way. Uh, Meredith Vieira for president. Ghostina, I'll fight for national security. Albin, uh, ghost politics facts, not facts, by the way. Doom for goon. Jot luck. I'm not going to say that name. The bug chaser. Flaming creations. Uh, stop letting Jag cry on the show. The Silverado dude. Ghost is cheating on Mrs. Ghost. No, I'm not. Captain Slapnuts. Hambolius. Uh, Mama Luigi. SCM. Whistle 09. Fifth Fish. Uh, Steven Alvula. And he's a Mexican, by the way. Orale. A uh, hey, hey, Cubo, man. Uh, undead. Uh, Chronic did porn with Ghosty's wife. That's great. Uh, I'm a. F I'm not going to say that, you idiot. Uh. Something Hercules. Flames were golfing in the house. Cheers, uh, cheers to Flames were golfing, by the way. And Mr. Optical. Let's see who the hell else do we got going on over here. Uh, we got the Ron Living, uh, Ron the Livingstone, excuse me. Felix Mateev. What is this? Kessin B. I'm not going to say that. Bill Gates. I'm not going to say that either. Fruitcake Texan Swallower of Ghosts is John Holmes. That's horrible. KGB Ghost. My girlfriend's is on her period. Uh, who cares? Who the hell? Tell her to put a cork in it, for fuck's sake. Uh, testicle torsion enthusiast. Oh, God. I Owen a thong. A thong? What the fuck is that? I owe Viking Kyle Mensch. I don't, I don't owe you shit. Now, you see, ironically, Viking Kyle is one of these, like, white nationalist types. And notice how he's trying to, you know, put his hand out like a welfare recipient telling me that I owe him. I mean, isn't it ironic? It's, it's, it's doing a 180. The right is completely doing a 180 now. They are turning into the goddamn communists. They're the ones that are turning into the leftists. They're the ones that want the entitlements at this point in time. They don't want to go out and work. And look at this. I'm a Russian chef. Fuck Russia. All right. Melanin Crusader, whatever the hell that means. J Money. That, that's a fake J Money. All right. Uh, G.H. Lambo subordinate in the house. Aussie for freedom. Pookie from 713-805 addict. And we've got William Bearass Trap. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Dog of the... N I'm not going to say that. What in the house? And I think that's it. All right? We, that, that's, that concludes the Twitter shoutouts. All right? And look, all these people, they want me to go and take a look at mentions. And why do they why do they want me to take a look at mentions? Because they just want to make fun of me, you know? They want to make me look like some fucking four-flushing, spinach-eating, barnyard piece of shit. And I don't fucking appreciate it, dude. I don't appreciate it. I'm an American. All right, I'm a patriot. I want to sustain the continuity of America. I don't want this damn country to end. I don't want it to come down like many of the folks on MAGA want to do. These people have turned into anarchists, leftists, for Christ's sake. Anyway, look, put the PC shot on. Look at this. This is what's on my mentions. You see, Viking Kyle, look at this. Look at this. This is this is what uh, Viking Kyle wants out here, all right? If I don't start making more sense, we're going to have to put you in a home. You already put me in a home. Well, then we'll put you in the crooked home where we saw in 60 minutes. Ah, fuck off. And look at this. I'm Oh, yeah, I'm in line for my EBT, EBT. Yeah, shut up, all right? 
And look at this. I, look, I'm not the I'm not a big fan of Ukraine either. I mean, for you all that have been listening to me on True Capitalist Radio for the past several years, I have not been a Zelensky fan. I think he's a fucking bloodthirsty little midget, and I think that Ukraine should do something and and either remove him from power or straighten him up. All right, but it looks like he is trying everything he can to sustain power. He recently removed the general of his military. Remember, I had told you uh, weeks prior that uh, Zelensky is having trouble and that the military was operating outside of his control. So as a result, Zelensky has purposely <laughs> axed for a his general. You'll do it tonight, G.A. got it. We know you will gargle uh, on my Vietnamese rice shlong. All right, that, BTW, that's enough. There is fire sale if you use the code for Vietnam when you do donations. No, if there's not. It, no, there's not. Get played, including those that are five hours or longer. V. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Nguyen. All right, anyway, let's see. Oh, oh no, oh now I'm a Jew cheeseburger or whatever you fucking people are calling because I want to preserve and protect the American way of life. I mean, I can't believe that this is what you people think. All right, because I want to preserve the American way of life. I'm some kind of a Jew cheeseburger or some shit. What do Winston's mod privileges and Tiananmen Square have in common? They both don't exist. Dodge the draft, don't fight for the filthy Jews in uh, Israel. Come on, look, that's enough, all right? If you have to be called to service your country, all right, you better go out there and do it. And if not... You, you either need to be put on a migrant boat and have that shit shipped to fucking North Korea or be thrown in jail, all right? And everybody that's out there claiming that they'll dodge the draft, I hope there's a federal authority watching over you people, all right? And look at this. Look at this Viking Kyle over here. Look at this. I, I mean, what do you think? You're a Viking? Is that it, Viking Kyle? You know what the left is trying to say now, that the Vikings were homosexual. You know, there wasn't that many fucking women around. And the only women that were were their fucking conquered broads that they uh, went and pillaged from, and they got bored with them after they shitted at a child and they throw them off to the sea. All right? Now, whether that's true or not, I have no idea, but that's what the fucking LGBTQ over there at fucking Vox and, you know, the, the, the Vice, that's what they're saying. Look it up. Vikings gay. Look it up. And look, there's Viking Kyle again. Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what, Viking Kyle? Give me a break here. Is this, is that balled up? Kleenex with lubrication and what looks like a bunch of anime fucking videotapes in the background for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, this is me coming out of a sewer hole. That's that's great, dude. All right, that's that's great. And here's Cornbread Man with his fucking cat memes. And uh, oh my God, what is this? The new Israeli dance performance is an anti-fascist warning. That looks like centipede. Oh. All right, dude, I've had enough. Take this shit off of here, all right? Take the fucking shit off. Oh, my God. And we got Urinator. As a veteran, draft dodging his base. Don't die for a country that cares more about illegals than you. What are you talking about, man? Everybody who's in this country came from somewhere else, all right? I, I don't understand what you're talking about. And what is it, Scuff Pan? Good evening, Ghost. Hope you have a good show tonight. Though I could care less about finances, I appreciate the social and political commentary. Cheers to the Gucci Earl Weaver. All right. Well, I don't know what you're saying there, but thank you very much. All right. Now, look, I think what let's go. Let's go ahead and just talk about this because I want this to be the crux of the show. And if anybody, any of you MAGA people disagree with me, I'm going to open up the phone lines and I challenge you people to call up and debate me instead of being a bunch of troll terrorist cyber vermin scumbags. All right. I think what's happening here and the amount of simping that's going on for this damn stupid Tucker Carlson, Vladimir Putin interview is utterly disgusting. Once upon a time, all right, here, here it is right here. Put the PC shot on. Once upon a time, all right, the people that used to be all up on the sack of Russia were the Democrats during the Red Scare, during the whole Cold War. Remember that shit? From the 40s to the 80s. For a dollar. Uh, hold on, I gotta I gotta read some uh, buy me a coffees. I had forgotten about that. All right, here, let's go ahead and read some buy me a coffees here. I got it, Ouija Slayer. I fucking got it. All right, Jesus Christ. All right, where are we at here? Put the PC shot on. Uh, Vox Art officials said people want higher wages because of inflation. You idiot. Rather than pay a fair wage, you'd employ illegals and let them go homeless. Nobody goes homeless in America. You fucking idiot. Anybody who's homeless in America. They want to be homeless. 
All right? Anybody who's living on the street in America, they want to live on the street. And I'll prove it to you. I can't believe you. You're in favor of illegal. I'm not in favor of illegal immigration. But unfortunately, right now, nobody in Washington, D.C. wants to touch the immigration issue. I've said it time and time again. I want to vet the people that are coming across the border. I want folks that are going to be productive members of American society who love this country, who want to protect this country, unlike you, ungrateful pricks. Anyway, what else are you saying, fucking idiot? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you're in favor of illegal immigration. You're, you hate your countrymen. I don't hate my countrymen. I'm just saying, you know, they're a little fucking blazy, spoiled brat pieces of garbage. And they're unabashed by that. They're unabashed by that. Don Quan Vietnam D Don Gun Vietnam D Chung L N G Kukwak. Book C H N Don Vang T R and Dung Gap Gen Sa. What kind of tuna fish language is this? Look. Hey, Mr. Nguyen. Mr. Nguyen. Listen. Hey! Listen, I don't understand your tuna fish language, but if you're trying to name your kid, get a bunch of pots and pans, throw it on the floor, and you'll find a name there, all right? Anyway, you don't love America. I love this country. What are you talking about, man? Funny you call me pro-Russia shill for trying to get you to understand the nuances of how the conflict in Ukraine came to be. I don't give a shit how it came to be. Do you understand? We want true American people in here that love this country, that appreciate the freedom, that appreciate the economic opportunity, not resent it, not spit on it. I agree with you. We need a draft ASAP. Uh. We need to draft. The fuck up, you doxy piece of shit! You see, this is America, by the way, folks. All right, these are the American people that I'm talking about out here. This is it right here. Anyway, uh, what is this? Um, when your subversive ass spout, spouts nonsense, I'm not spouting nonsense. I'm spouting the truth, Vox Artificials. By the way, I'm not pro-Russia. I just don't support po pointless, prolonged, or escalation of wars for the sake of serving neocon bloodlust. You see, foreign policy is a little above your pay grade there, Vox Artificials. You see, you live in simplicity, and you assume that the safety you live under is just going to be there indefinitely and have no kind of threats of any kind from any outside forces. And that's historically not the case. And that's why our government is even in existence to protect the people. And to protect the people in this country, you got to go out and you got to conduct foreign policy in a very Machiavellian, realist perspective. Do you understand? Because you want to know what foreign policy is? Foreign policy is basically like a Mexican standoff amongst every country in the world. Every country in the world has got a gun to their head. And you see, what foreign policy is, is like, look, I'll pull the trigger, but if you don't pull the trigger, I won't pull the trigger. But if you do, this guy that's pointing at your head, he's going to pull the trigger on you, and they're going to... That's legitimately what fucking foreign policy is. And you see, what's unfortunate is you got these fucking pussy whip, like, long-haired hippie fucking living in a fantasy assholes like Vox Artificials and all these other man-children out here that obsess over pre-teenage cartoons and wax their carrot to fucking car all this fucking crap. They're more worried about sustaining their own fucking fantasy and not recognizing the reality of the situation. And the reality of the situation is, is that Russia can't be trusted. All right, Putin can't be trusted. All right, this guy is a fucking filthy filthy, disgusting dictator, and the fact that anybody in this country is simping over that piece of shit is a disgrace. It's a fucking disgrace. Imagine simping over some fucking dictator who's been in power over there since 1999 and has killed countless people for, for on, on pure whims, for Christ's sake. Poisoning fucks. I mean, it's been notorious what the fuck Putin has done. And yet you've got people on the right, people that are supporting Trump, literally sucking the goddamn cock cheese off of fucking Vladimir Putin. It's fucking ridiculous. And look, here it is. There's our resident fucking uh, cosplay trans testicle Ouija slayer up in here. Honestly, I would do the exact uh, same historical rambling thing Putin did in that Tucker Carlson interview, but instead with the his history of Texas. I'd like, uh, I'd be like, uh, we got to go back to 1821. Uh, Nueva España became the first empire of Mexico. All right. Well, thank you, Ouija Slayer. All right. Very pertinent to what the fuck we're talking about now. 
And we've got uh, Gunter, who's like, hey, I'm glad Ghost agrees with me. Uh, we should, He should join my next X space. Ghost DN me to arrange. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Hold on, let me see what this guy's talking about. What is, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> I'd buy that for a time. Oh, here's Menno Ray. Ghost, how are you a white supremacist? Most of the whites are liberal feminine who ejaculate at the opportunity of kissing a feet. Hey! The Mexicans are based right now. Traditional, conservatives, etc. type the worst race in the chat. I don't even understand what the hell that was supposed to mean, but whatever. All right, Menno Ray. And here's Gunter who said, sure, uh, Tucker Carlson is a journalist and he can interview anybody, fair enough. Uh, but to be the most famous American journalist interviewing the main enemy of America during wartime when the budget decision for Ukraine is blocked with obvious intentions, this is treason 100%. I don't think uh, Gunter is that far off. I'll be honest with you. I don't think he's that far off. All right. I mean, this is not like. As I stated on the last broadcast, Tucker Carlson going in a diplomatic effort in an attempt to go and talk to Putin and use Tucker Carlson's influence to, I don't know, get something out of Putin. No, of course, Tucker Carlson, being the grifter that he is, brought his camera along and gave Putin an opportunity to spew off a, nothing but a bunch of propaganda. And I hope that we don't allow Tucker Carlson to come back in the country. And if we do, I hope he's interrogated from hell, all right, on what the fuck he knows and what the Russians have over him, for heaven's sake. What the fucking Russians have over him and all these MAGA people. Hold on, he's... What? Here's eating an eating tip. This is high picture Eric, with an eating tip. Oh, Always God. make sure you take a shoe before you go to the buffet. Oh, That's no! A real amateur move. To go to the buffet when you're having shit, you gotta make room. <laughs> All right. I, I, I don't even know why you even donated. Why do y'all donate shit like that just to piss me off? <sighs> I'm sorry for you folks that actually had to listen to that. I mean, you know, people can donate an audio file. They try to make me look like an idiot. Gonna oh. go snipe Trump! Snipe ah, Trump. No! Snipe. No, no, no! No! All right, absolutely not. We're not advocating that bullshit, all right? This is not what we're advocating here. All right, on the contrary, the MAGA people seem to be the ones that are advocating that. We're not advocating that. And here's Gunter again. What... Uh, what you did was no journalism. And this was treason, Tucker Carlson. You should be locked up as a national security threat working for the enemy. I mean, you MAGA people are so fucking gullible. You're even worse than leftist at this point in time. Play it. I think if a candidate got up and said, you know what? I'm an inside the box thinker. Yeah. I'm a product of the Beltway, and I'm proud of it. Because I'm in fact, it. in Washington, we, I we know how the God damn it, Froppy! I'm fucking hey, doing guys, something, I just you stupid got back asshole! Just my interview with the communist dictator, and he has told me that he is not a communist dictator, but actually a liberator. I didn't stop to question anyone around him either, and I'm going to trust every word he says. Well, for at least Froppy is trying to be facetious about the interview with Tucker Carlson and Vladimir Putin. That's what he was doing. All right, listen. Listen to what Tucker Carlson says. He He's like, I want somebody who's part of the institutional beltway. I want somebody. This is who fucking this guy is. And the only reason he's going this direction is for the ultra grift. And let me tell you, I, I, I want to know. I, I, I absolutely want to know what Russia's paying him. Or what Russia has on him for him to do this. To fix it. God damn it, you fucking piece of shit, Mr. Nguyen! Chat. Hand boner. Vietnam has won again. Oh, Jesus for Christ. Vietnam. We shall all ditch you for true Hanoi radio. Can you the piss off where I'm trying to show these people that Tucker Carlson's like a piece of shit? Mr. All right. V. 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 Jesus Christ. Rise, my brothers. I'm trying to show these fucking magatard losers that this fucking guy Tucker Carlson's a piece of shit. All right, stop disrupting the, the situation I got going here, fucking idiot. Right. We can get one of our producers, or maybe our maybe our director, maybe he can do it. You know, because ultimately we all have value as people. You know what I mean? Even people in the back. I hate that shit, actually. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? We all have value. You know, I hate that shit. I hate that shit. 
He used to be on a very conversational level with Hunter Biden. Do y'all remember that? Y'all remember that shit? Hello. What? Sir, it would seem that your Windows has oh, a virus. Jesus Christ. Have you considered purchasing our technical great. support? Great. Some idiot trying to waste my fucking it time. That's great. Only $800. That's that fucking great. One shows income. Sir, please do the needful. All right. Shut the fuck purchase. up. All right. Sir, I'm trying to show the you. absolute hip. You fucking idiot. The absolute hypocrisy of all these people, these MAGA people that are obsessed with Tucker Carlson when he's a fucking fraud. He's a fucking fraud, and on top of which, I think he might be compromised because there was no reason for this idiot to go over there to Russia, to the Kremlin of all places, during a time in which we're on a war footing with Russia. All right? Play the shit. I hate that shit, actually. While him just sitting there like an idiot. Jesus Christ. Oh, all right, she, all right dude. What now? What Not now? Not dying for Israel and oil. Shut up! I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to let y'all know that this is who you're worshiping. And look, it's not just Tucker Carlson, which is an absolute fraud, that you people are putting on some kind of a cock pedestal or some shit, all right, who obviously could care less about you, could care less about this country. This guy cares more about his damn pocketbook. And that's and this proves it. This proves it. Oh, look at this. Da daily TTS Spurg session. Take a look at this. Yeah, take a look at this shit. Fucking piece of crap. Alright, y'all better cut this crap out, dude. Or ain't gonna be no show. There ain't gonna be no ghost show this weekend. Alright? I've already warned you, pieces of crap. Alright, ain't gonna be no ghost show this weekend if you fucking continue to keep this shit up, dude. Anyway, we got uh, a buy me a coffee. You, we, is my woo wife. Oh, shut up, asshole. Anyway, speaking of MAGA and leftism, I think you'll find this enlightening. This is very relevant to what your discussion on the show. Here's 10 bucks to scroll all the way down. MAGA communism. Well, I'm glad that you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're bringing this up because that, that's exactly what I, I think is happening. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. What, what now? Jesus Christ, can you shut the fuck up, man? God damn it. God damn it. Anyway, let's take a look at hashtag mega communism. Take a look at this. Hashtag mega, mega, mega communism. Start deconstructing the neocon woke evangelical left and neocon Christian evangelical right stat. Oh! Oh, mega communism now. Oh! Oh! All right, what do we have here? 100% Stalinist, 100% Maoist, Marxism, Leninism in the age of the multi-parody and post-COVID world. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, the, I let me tell you something. Anybody can see that there's some absolute subversion going on when it comes to this MAGA movement. All right? I mean, it's unfucking believable It makes perfect fucking sense. I mean, why else? Would these damn MAGA people be obsessed with Putin? Why? Why would they be obsessed with Vladimir Putin? Oh, all right, look, that's enough. All right, I want y'all to cut the crap. All right, I'd like for y'all to cut the crap. Can y'all cut the Shut up! Damn it! 
Anyway, I mean, this makes perfect sense. You know, MAGA communism, it, it makes fucking perfect sense. Look at this. Many people think Tucker is a grifter for his endorsement of MAGA communism. Oh, Jesus. Yo, Grandpa, if you are so critical and are making all these talking points that can be taken out of context, why don't you just play the Tucker Carlson interview fully here and comment on it? No! Easier than just pissing in the wind. Also, as... Yeah, just shut up, asshole. Look, first of all, I'm not giving that any kind of a platform on my show. If you want to go and independently watch it, that's your fucking problem. It was a pure propaganda piece for Vladimir Putin. All right? And hold on just a second. Many people think Tucker Carlson is a grifter for his endorsement of MAGA communism while having Jackson Hinkle on his show. What the hell? So many people think this is a fucking grift. And uh, 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 all right. I'm done, dude. Double, I'm done with double, this show. You double, you double, I, I don't need double, to be double, fucking putting double, up with this shit from you fucking repetitive autist pieces of four flush and trash. All right? I don't need to be putting up with this crap. All right? I'm trying to go out there and save the country from this disgusting obsession of Russia, this Russian subversion, and I'm being stopped. People are trying to stop me. Jesus Christ. Shut up! <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. And what is it, David Parker Ray? Hello, Mr. Ghost. I need to thank you and your wife for such a beautiful daughter. Oh, she had Jesus a good time Christ. at my toy box. That's horrible. Never you have sick I got a better bastard. slave. Normally, I don't do You're this, a sick just fucking you, piece I will of shit. Where her rotten corpse is buried. Oh my God! I hope there's a federal authority watching over that prick. I'll tell you that. Uh, what w now? No, w not w another w fucking w w w bullshit, man. I'm tired of this shit! You fucking trolls are worshipping Putin! You're worshipping the enemy! You're subverted! And your stupid ignorant ass doesn't even know it! You're subverted! You're subverted and perverted! God damn it! Skip this fucking shit! I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, God. Oh, please. Double you, 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 double you. I'm sorry, folks. We're going to get back to the show in just a second. We got some jerk offs in here that are obviously being paid by Donald Trump trying to stop me from unearthing the hypocrisy, unearthing the Russian subversion. They're trying to stop me. And I won't be stopped. I love America. I love this country, damn it. Shut up! Oh my god. How many of these fucking things that you idiots donate, you stupid morons? God damn it! God damn it! And Colonel Transisco over there at D Live, what's going down? This becoming hashtag true Tucker Radio. Don't tell me you're down with Tucker Carlson, Colonel Transisco! Don't tell me that you're down with that Russian subverted piece of shit! What's going on with this country? Country, man. What's going on with this world? Shut up! Oh my god, please cut the shit, please, man. Can you cut the shit? Can you fucking trolls cut the shit? I've had enough. I've had enough of this shit, man. You fucking people don't even love your country. You hate America. You love Russia. You love Putin, you fucking piece of shit. God damn all of you and mama luigi i don't know where mr fortune cookie is but let me tell you i don't know i'm just i'm tired i'm sorry i skipped your shit mama luigi i'm dealing with this w or shit man shut up oh god can you fuck off man 
And yo little ghosty, how much did DNC pay you? Fuck you, man. I'm not a Democrat. All right, I'm just disgusted with the direction of the Republican Party. The absolute Russian subversion. Shut up! Oh, God. Jesus Christ, man. Can y'all piss off, please, man? Seriously! Piss off! Piss off! Piss off! Damn it! Shut up, you stupid shit! Shut up! Thanks for Damn the financial it. advice this Damn time. It. Thanks to you. I made seven to the power of seven to the power of seven oh, to the power of seven off, to the dude. power of seven to the power of seven to the power of dude, seven to the power off. of seven to the power of seven to the power of seven to the power of seven fuck to the off power with of this seven shit, to the power man. of seven to the power 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 God of seven to the power damn it, will you shut the, the fuck, fuck up? Shut up! I'd buy that. Oh, come on! Oh, God. I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry, man. We're obviously being attacked by MAGA people. All right, they don't want the exposure of them being Russian subverts, and they're fucking, they're scared. Look at them. They're scared. They don't want ghosts to talk. They don't want ghosts to expose them for the commies and the socialists and the dictator worshiping pieces of shit. That they are! Shut up! <laughs> I'd buy that oh, God. I hate stalling. Get on with it. It's these fucking idiots that are donating this WWWWW bullshit, man! I've had enough of this! Oh, you gotta fucking be kidding me, you fucking piece of shit, man! You gotta be fucking kidding me, man! You all gotta be fucking kidding me, man! Oh my god! Fuck America. Look at these Russia. people! Fuck America. Mother Russia. Look at these people! Fuck America. Mother this Russia. is America! Fuck America. And you think Mother these people Russia. will protect this Fuck country? America. They hate Mother their Russia. own country! Fuck America. Mother these people Russia. hate their own <laughs> God damn Oh I'd no. Come on, man! I've had enough of this shit, man. I've had enough of this fucking shit, man. You guys are fucking assholes, man. Hey, look at LB Capitalist with a rumble rat. So are you starting Saturday Night Troll Show tomorrow? Uh, how about no? How about no? And look at one of my blacks, Mega Max 578. That's because you're too brain dead to disable donation alerts. Listen, it's these people, man. It's these fucking people. God damn it. Shut up. I'd buy that for a dollar. Jesus Christ. I can't believe what I'm hearing from you tonight. Ghost is now anti maga How the mighty have fallen. You're depressing me, man. What's next? An entire broadcast dedicated to your support of BLM. Oh, come on! I'm not a fucking- Wish I was still in prison. Wish you were still in prison? That's horrible, I Mad Thad. That's fucking horrible, dude. Hey, Ghost. You may remember from the dating game. Sadly, they didn't saw my sex appeal. I heard you have a daughter or granddaughter. Oh, Jesus Can I have Christ. Their no, no. And quite the professional photographer, if I must say myself. No, please stop it with that <laughs> shit, all right? Guess who? Santa Claus, little bastard. Little bastard, little bastard, uh, little bastard, little bastard, little bastard. Fuck little all bastard, of you people, man. Bastard, Seriously, little bastard, man. Little bastard, little bastard, fuck little all bastard, of you people, little bastard, man. Little bastard, little bastard. I'm telling little you bastard, the truth. Bastard and IT. The truth! <laughs> I'd 
buy that for a dollar. Uh, what, Vox Artificials? You deserve it for not engaging in proper debate with me. Uh, greater than less than I greater made than you look than lower than, than a leprechaun's nutsack, you fuck. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Greater than less than 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 I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, God. Hey, Froppy. If I catch you messaging my nephew that sexual shit again, I will be your ass. He is only 13, you sick freak. What? Don't f yourself. Bacon Dirty boy. Scum. You should take a one-way trip to ISIS territory. Dude, what the hell was that? Oh, uh, no, nah, not a fucking gan, dude. Please, for fuck's w, sake. W, 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 oh, w, God. W, w, I mean, w, w, you guys got to give me a fucking break, man. I mean, I'm trying to do a fucking show here. Man, you guys are going to have to give me a fucking break, man. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit. God damn it, you stupid son of a bitch. Shut up! I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, this is an audio file, folks. Hello, friends. This is True Optimism Radio. What? I'd like to thank Ghost, who finally allowed me back on his show. Thank you. The subject matter of this show is going to be very negative, so we'll really need this segment. Oh Ghost. my god. Don't let the darkness win. Instead, we should be thinking about the positives of a potential anti American GOP. Like, for example, maybe life under Chinese communism will be a new learning experience. Even if it's tyrannical and oppressive, we could learn from it. We could say, hey, we tried that, and it was fun. Oh, God. I Jeez. buy that for I mean, dollar. come on, man. Now, here's another uh, audio it file. It is legal in Texas to kill... No! That... No! No! Oh! God damn it! Jesus Christ! Can y'all stop it with these fucking text-to-speech donations, for fuck's sake? Just stop, man! Just stop! All right, this is not funny. We're in the middle of Russian subversion here, man. We're in the middle of Russian subversion. Don't you understand that? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. God. Can you fucking piss off, man? You people have to fucking give me a break, man. And by the way, hold on just a second. Alright, dude, shut up, dude. Alright, I'm tired of the fucking W's, man, alright? I'm tired of the fucking W's, man! Shut up! Buy that for a dollar. I'll stop. Now unblock the Twitter 5. Unblock the Twitter 5? Go fuck off, dude, alright? The Twitter 5. Fuck those fucking tards. Alright? Fuck those fucking tards. Anyway, we got Colonel Transisco with a ninja guinea over there at DLive. I'm into watching Tucker. Let me put it this way. I quit watching Fox News when he left. Come on, Colonel Transisco. Come on. He said, no Tucker, no reason to watch, Colonel Transisco said. And by the way, Colonel Transisco also said, E-H-S in the chat to have the engineer take over. Oh, God, Jesus fucking Christ with this shit. Come on! Come on, man! I've had enough. I've had just about enough of this crap. I'm tired, man. I'm so fucking tired. Jesus Christ, shut up! Christ! <sighs> all right, folks, look, I'm sorry we had to go through all that bullshit, man. All right, I'm, I'm really trying here, you know, but obviously these MAGA Russian subversive pieces of shit 
are trying everything they can to try to stop me from saying that. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I mean, give me Look at this shit. Look at this garbage. I've had enough of you people. Hey, if you're contributing to this WW shit, I hope you burn in hell and I hope you get anal. Satan's pitchfork right up your pull ups, asshole! You piece of shit! Alright, take, take this off. No ghost show this weekend, I can tell you that right now. No fucking ghost show this fucking weekend, dude. Look at this shit! Look at this shit! Oh god! Dude, y'all gotta fucking seriously, y'all gotta stop, man. Y'all have to stop this bullshit, man. Shut up! All right, dude, I think I've had enough of this show, all right? I, I think I've had just about enough of this. I'd buy that oh, for no. Jesus I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm, I mean, I'm tired of this shit, man. Stop sending these fucking W's, man. I've had enough of this shit. I've had enough of this garbage. God damn it. All right, dude, shut, dude, shut the fuck up, all right? Jesus fucking Christ. I mean, I'm tired of this shit, man. You know what? Before I get on with the rest of the show, folks, and I, my apologies for these people donating this stupid, repetitive, autistic garbage of W, W, W. Buy that for oh, a dollar. God. What? How does a girl tell if she is pregnant? When she pulls the tampon out, all the cotton is picked. Oh my god, dude, I don't condone what the fuck that stupid racist piece of shit just said. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh no. Come on. Y'all have ruined my baller Friday at this point, all right? You probably even ruined my fucking Super Bowl weekend. Shut up! I'd buy that for a dollar. Sunday show or broken machine? It's Super Bowl this Sunday, you fucking prick. What are you talking about? It's Super Bowl Sunday. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, God. Turn the donos off, you stupid fucking Democrat. You have no reason not to. Unless you're an even lower grifter than you accuse Tucker of being. Oh, uh, here we Justice go. Justice for the Twitter five and Here Winston. we go. Seven 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 seven. Here we go. Seven 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 seven. You son of a bitch. Seven 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 seven. Fuck the Twitter five. All right. Fuck those fucking tards. All right. Fuck those stupid tards. I'd buy that for a dollar. What is this shit? Fuck America. You made Iran what it is today for ousting Mossadegh. No oh, wars fuck for off. Israel. Fuck Death off, sus. H L A B M W W W. Fuck you, all right, asshole. Fuck you, you stupid shithead. <laughs> I'd buy that. Hey, hold on. Who's it? Ghost's nephew rapping. You're fuck. Jesus Christ. You're fuck. And I do You are all a bunch of fucking I do not condone this I'm sorry we're listening I, I just so I, I'm sorry man 
sorry. Oh my god. Hey, look, we got Mega Max 578, one of my blacks, saying, fucking disable them, you fucking boomer bitch. Hey, Mega Max, calm your ass down, get in the back of the bus, and listen to some fucking Chief Keef or something, all right? Calm your ass down, all right? Everything's gonna be all right. Don't become another statistic, all right? And we got JSAV. Uh, here's another $5 for the Twitter 5. Ghost is a psyop. Enjoy your Friday, bitch. Take a look at that, huh? I, I, you know what? I got your bitch, all right? I've got your bitch! Son of a bitch. Hey, look, Colonel Transisco with a uh, diamond over there at D-Live. Hashtag PPHS if Pinkie Pie and the ponies should take over. The ponies? Oh, God. Jeez. Knocked out ghost. Just endorse Trump and there will be an end to the horror. Oh, oh, now I'm being threatened. Now I'm being threatened. Now I'm being threatened. Shut this shit up. Shut this shit up. Shut up. Now you're threatening me, huh? Now you're threatening me. Say, hey, look, uh, you know, you better go ahead and uh, promote Trump or else. Promote Trump or else. Look at that, huh? Just like a, a crop of communists, huh? Just like a crop of communists. Put the PC shot on. Enigma said, Happy Baller Friday, Ghost. Can you give us a good Happy Baller Friday? I just got out of bed, so I missed this morning stock play. Uh, did you see the Tucker Putin interview? Yes, I did. I, I, I was trying to talk about it. I watched them both, uh, I watched both of them humiliate each other. Also, you said you'd do a ghost show today, and you did a TCR instead. You deserve every W. Yeah, no shit. Thank you, Enigma. Cheers to Enigma, by the way. And we got Devious Day with a rumble rant. Why is it any time I'm in a public restroom and someone is talking on the phone while on... <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Can't say it's always a black Remember, guy. it's not in if they're actually dead. Steve Harwell No, 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 shut up, shut up fucking doxers, man. Look, since we're talking a little bit about, or at least we're trying to talk a little bit about the Tucker Carlson, Vladimir Putin interview, we actually have a video of, uh, like, somebody who was MAGA, some, some Trump supporter, their reaction to how the interview between Tucker Carlson and Vladimir Putin went. So, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and, uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at this, all right? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this here. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Now, what you're about to see, folks, is a legitimate uh, video of a MAGA supporter, uh, you know, looking at the Vladimir Putin Tucker Carlson interview. All right, so here we go. Play it. Here it is. Play it. Here it is. Play it. What was he smoking there? What did he was he taking a hit of, of of coke? What was that about? What the fuck was that? Where did he learn that? Where did he learn how to take coke or smoke crap? Did you see that? Play that again. Ghost's dementia is worse than Biden's. He forgot he was supposed to Look at to him, he smokes. Him. He looks like he's smoking w crack here. Or taking a line of coke off. Look, 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 look. 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 What the hell is that? What the hell was that? Alright, alright. Alright. All right. Anyway, that, that's enough. All right, we get it. Here, one more time. Now, what is he doing right here? It looks like he's trying to either smoke a crack pipe or take a line of cocaine off of his hand. Take a look at this. Where did he learn that? Where the hell did he learn that? Where the hell did this guy learn that? 
Jesus Christ. And by the way, Dr. Disrespect, uh, you know, his, uh, his career is taking a dive, if I don't say so myself. Anyway, feminist socialist with a rumble ran. Hey, I know that guy. He's in the inner circle. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah, right. All right. But anyway, that was a reaction of a MAGA person watching the interview of Vladimir Putin conducted by Tucker Carlson there. So I uh, just wanted to let everybody know that, all right? But anyway, as I was stating, folks, all right, I'm sorry for all the WWWs and all the shit we've been having to put up with on this broadcast, uh, but let me tell you something. These people that are MAGA, socialist, uh, subverted, fucking uh, Russian MAGA people, they're not going to stop me. All right, they're absolutely not going to stop me. And all of you people that are out here being a Russia simp, I mean... Isn't it ironic? Isn't it ironic that, and I tweeted about this, take a look at this, the Ukraine operation, okay, is to deplete Russia of economic, military, and population assets to eliminate its superpower status. The United States doesn't care who wins or loses so long as Russia is thrown backwards 50 to 100 years and no U.S. troops were used to accomplish this. And I retweeted a Alex Jones. Hey, I'm Alex Jones here, and I want everybody out there to go out there and buy the super male vitality that'll give you the big ass boner <laughs> and my filters, my filters. Hey, ghost, I wanted to ask about doing a good old raid. The Buddhism hotline is live. Uh, Jonathan Hills talked shit about you and is a doxing piece of shit and pretty racist. That are inferior and is also no. a commie that loves China. Well, I, I think it's it's an autistic act, all right? But uh, no, we're not going to do that, all right? But the reason I, I say that, that this is Russian subversion is because, I mean, after the interview, there's a clip of Tucker Carlson praising Putin. And then you've got Alex Jones out here in this tweet saying, Russia sounds like it's willing to make a peace in Ukraine. Why is the West opposed to this? <laughs> Oh no! 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 Your respects at 2011. Get that shit at the fucking docks, man! Stop doxing! All right, you fucking sick assholes need to stop doxing. You need to stop it now. Jesus Christ, you fucking people, man! Man, y'all have ruined my fucking baller Friday. I can tell you that right, goddamn now. You fucking pieces of trash have ruined my baller Friday, man. Anyway, as I was stating, all right, this is the reason why we are aiding Ukraine. Because we don't care who wins or loses. Here's take a look at hashtag MAGA communism. U.S. people working under MAGA communism explained. Oh, yeah, it looks like a rumble. It looks like a rumble deal. Let's, let's listen to it, all right? Let's listen to it. There are three simple changes I tell all Hey, hey, the big bump. Hey! No! Don't forget me. Want to hear more? Hey! Let's talk about your bank account. Shut up! That have 4.3 million dollars Fucking doxers, man. You know, God damn it. Want to hear a horror story? Let's talk about your bank account. All right. Does that have 4.3 million dollars in it? All right, here it is. All right, where is it explained? Well, where, where? To have, or the MAGA movement, I should rather say, seems to have done precisely that so the thesis of maga communism is pretty simple if we want to build a communist movement in this country and i'll qualify what that means a movement based in the working class centered around the demands a government made for the people and by the people <laughs> but if the people fall dollar. asleep at the wheel my generation oh, did God. it better pay your respects at 570 all right, that, dude that's enough doxing all right jesus christ play play here let me take a smoke and let these communists uh, go ahead and blatantly tell you what's uh, why you're being directed towards a more communist subversion, even if you don't know it. I and mean, that was kind of a big. People were like, "How do how do these two even intersect?" <laughs> you know, this, this oh guy, Jesus! Know. What a fucking audio file! I'm a oh no! I'm a I'm a I'm a Oh my god.
this, folks. I don't condone I buy this. That for a dollar. What is this? Hello, me ghost. I wanted to say that I will have a nice picnic with your daughter at the Green River. Oh, God. I wonder about her body temperature. If you catch oh, my drift. Oh, God. Either way, she will not come home tonight. Smile. Love your show, by the You're way. You're a sick fuck, all right? Now, one more again, all right? Let's hear what these communists have to say about MAGA communism. Because what these communists are doing, they're going to use the subversion that has already been induced by Trump on these lemmings that are his followers and use them as the useful idiots they are. Against Marxism and then this idea of MAGA communism. So have you had, I mean, are, are people, would you say, in the MAGA movement? Uh, pro MAGA, pro Russia. I mean, Vox Artificial <laughs> is a perfect a fucking dollar. example. <laughs> Saw a video of a dude putting a camera down his urethra oh, before Jesus showing the holes Christ, where the seminal man. fluid comes out. Come and of on! The Pretty interesting stuff. We can discuss this later in the inner circle. Cheers. You're stupid. You're an asshole. But that's what uh, many people on, on MAGA are advocating. They're advocating communist ideals and they don't even fucking know it. They don't even know it. They want you to be like, hey, pro-Russia, fuck America. Hey, fuck America, fuck this country. That's what you all are doing. That's what you all are doing. And speaking of uh, Vox Artificial, let's see what other communist garbage he's going to spew out of his suck hole here, all right? I mean, let's hear the type of talking points that we just heard verbatim from the communist. Let's hear them from Vox Artificial again. Look at this. I'm no communist. And I tell you that right now. Criticism of large corporations isn't communist D uh, direction brain, Daniel. Well, listen, I think that there's criticism all around. All right. But inevitably, what a corporation is, is the, comp uh, the composition of stockholders, the board, and the executive. And if the stockholders seem to be completely okay with whatever the damn executive is doing or whatever the damn bureaucracy is doing, that's why corporations act in, in that capacity. So if you want to become an activist investor, then that's your right to do so. But of course you're not because you'd rather go fucking pay for enemy. You'd rather go out and pay fucking $700, $800 for a fucking furry outfit. All right. You'd rather do that shit. I stand against government tyranny and subversion as well as corporate tyranny and subversion. Well, let me let me give you an example about this. Okay, let's just say, for the sake of argument, we were living something in like RoboCop 2. If y'all have never seen RoboCop 2, RoboCop 2 is a representation if the corporation superseded the economic and actual authority of the government and corporations ruled everything. Now... Obviously, that is a very extremist position, but my counter argument is even if that was to take place, at least you can sue the corporations. Unfortunately, thanks to Trump, you can't do that to Big Pharma anymore, all right, which is another communist variant of putting a small group of corporations, people, organization, institution above all law and authority. Okay, so for, for you all to sit here and suggest that you're not communist, even though that you're supporting Trump, is utterly absurd. And you're at the level, you're at the last level of subversion that Yuri Bezmenov talked about, and that's the level of subversion where you're completely demoralized that you will absolutely regret, or, or excuse me, not accept. You will not accept any kind of facts, any kind of proof counteracting your beliefs. Or contradicting your arguments. You absolutely will not believe it. And that is the last stage of subversion. And that's what, in my opinion, many of the people that are on the MAGA side are, are in. And then I'm not leaving out the extremists left either. I mean, they're under that shit too. You know, the fucking Antifa, the fucking Black Lives Matter folk, and that sort of thing. But you expect that from the left. You expect that kind of shit because that's what they are. They're, they're on the left of the political spectrum. I mean, they believe that the goddamn government should have some level of central authority, whether it's socially, whether it's economically. I never expected this kind of crap from the right. I never expected this kind of crap from the Republican Party. And the fact that you've got so many people accepting this garbage, accepting being demoralized and subverted, 
and, and praising a foreign leader who's been a fucking dictator at that fucking country ever since 1999, who has killed all his enemies, who has invaded fucking countries, or at least attempted to invade countries at least a few times. You people are putting that fucking idiot on a pedestal above this fucking country. And it's a disgrace, and you should all be ejected. You want to talk about deportation? We need to deport all you fucking idiots that are out here that are anti-American scum, that were born into this country, that were accorded the rights and economic opportunities, the freedom, the safety, and you will use it and abuse it just to make yourself a fucking spoiled brat. You should be deported. You should be deported. Fucking anti-American scum. Anyway, that was the default position of most in America and across the world before the corporate press psyoped everyone into thinking, <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus. Buy that for a dollar. Are you that much of a retard, Ghost? Do you honestly think Trump was the first president to do a stimulus check? Are you going to call George W. Bush a communist? And how the fuck is someone paying for anime a communist? That's capitalism, you retard. Uh, no, what I'm saying is, is that they're using capital in order to uh, immerse themselves or obsess themselves over something that isn't even a want or a need. It is, it is a fantasy. It is a subject in one's fucked up fucking stupid uh, world. All right, and, and, and what do you get? What do you get when you go to a Comic-Con? You know, when you go to a Comic-Con, you know what all it is? It's a bunch of people selling shit. Like it's a fucking swap meet or flea market. All right, that's all it fucking is. It's fucking ridiculous. All right, you're literally going there to burn money on crap that isn't going to fucking mean anything, not going to be worth anything in 10 years. Give me a break. Anyway, as I was stating, stop. I, look, I want to read this idiot Vox Artificial's fucking stupid thinks he's a, I don't know, intellectual fucking bullshit paragraph here, all right? Anyway, um, the default position of most Americans across the world before corporate press psyoped everyone into thinking politics as a binary between capitalism and communism to escape accountability during the Cold War. You want to talk about communism, neocon Andre? Look into the history of neoconservatism. All right, an idea founded by Trotsky is carrying their militarist ambitions under a new name. Your bloodlust is more communist in origin than my opposition to tyrants and subversionists. Stop thinking in terms of ist and isms and use your brain. Well, first and foremost, okay, I'm not a neocon, okay? I, I agree with the current foreign policy. And is the current foreign policy... <laughs> I'd buy that oh, Jesus a Christ. What the fuck is this? No! No! Take it off! Take this shit off! God damn it, man. Alright, alright, that's enough of this shit. I'm sorry, we don't condone this, dude. Alright, we don't condone this. Shut up! I'm sorry, folks, we don't condone this shit. Some fucking idiot is uploading some, you know, audio file, and this is, this is what you get, alright? In all seriousness, I appreciate your financial insight. I have family coming from out of state soon and I'm able to fly them out first class because of your stock advice and picks. You are the bad ass of business, hair of the dog. Yeah, real, yeah, real funny, all right? Just shut your fucking mouth. Anyway, look, I am not a full-fledged neocon, all right? But the foreign policy that has been put forth, and their population is dwindling as it is. I mean, whether they went to war or not, there's a population problem in Russia in which native Russians, you know, the Russian uh, people, the Ruski, they are now becoming a minority to the Asiatics, you know, the bum fuckistan type of people that are now a part of Russia, or, you know, I'm talking about inside Russia. They're being overtaken by them. The fact people have the option to spend their money on useless shit like anime indicates a free market system. That means it's capitalism. 
you're actually advocating for communism if you believe people shouldn't be spending on useless shit retard. I don't, well, that doesn't make it communism, that just makes it my personal opinion, okay? All right, I'm, I'm not saying that the government needs to come in and shut down people's spending habits. I'm just calling the people that fucking blow their money on this stupid, useless shit a bunch of morons. All right, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm not saying that, oh, we need Trump to come in and shut down fucking Comic Cons and shit. That's not what I'm saying, you fucking moron. I'm just saying the people that refuse to grow up and they're like, the, like that fucking Toys R Us commercial. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. These are the fucking people that have their priorities misdirected, and when we finally crash, because it's coming, when the economic crash is coming, I'm not feeling sorry for any of you American people. You know that? And as a matter of fact, I don't feel sorry for anybody in America. You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for the working people. The folks that are out there actually paying taxes. That's who I feel sorry for. You want to know why? Because those folks in the private sector that pay taxes for you fucking idiots that are collecting neat bucks, you fucking idiots that are collecting all these government entitlement programs, these are the people that I feel sorry for. Why the hell should the productive have any kind of interest in sustaining the unproductive? And why is it that the unproductive that are collecting off taxpaying dollars, why the hell do they have the equal political power as the people that are being productive? It's fucking ridiculous, okay? And look, what I'm hearing, and, and look, go, go, uh, I'd Jesus buy that fucking for a Christ. dollar. Dude, look, Vox Artificials, look, I don't really give a shit about your long-winded garbage. You're a fucking commie, all right? Just fucking admit it, all right? You want, you want fucking communism, and that's it. Just admit it. The foreign policy of neoconservatism is that uh, is a, a Trotskyist nature. Trotsky advocates the spread of communism by force. Neoconservatism advocates the spread of neoliberal elitism by force. Well, I mean, if you really want, I mean, it's it's Mao that really, you know, did the, you know, authority by a gun thing. But anyway, also, if you think wasting money on useless shit is communist, then shut off your donos and refund everything. Well, listen. I didn't say it was communist, you dumb fucking idiot. I'm saying that you people that spend your money on this shit are idiots and losers. And when we finally f see an economic crash, you are going to be the first people pissing and moaning about how you don't have fucking McDonald's and how you don't have chicken tendies anymore and how I, I just, I don't have anything left. I, I don't know what to do. And guess what? I mean, who knows what's going to happen to you people? I don't really give a shit, to be honest. All right. And lazy dudes, get your hand out of my wallet, Jew ghost. All right, enemy is a necessity. Yeah, all right, great. That's fucking great. And Colonel Transisco said, uh, TNG if Captain Picard should take over the show. Yeah, all right, whatever. Look, let me tell you something, all right? You fucking American people, uh, especially the ones that refuse to work and that are collecting government entitlements, all you want is more and more. And that's why, to be honest with you, do I have a little bit of compassion to folks that are trying to come into this country and actually want to have an economic opportunity and actually take advantage of it? All right, they actually take advantage of it, for Christ's sake, while the people that are born here don't? Let me show you why, okay? Let me, let me show you why nobody wants to work. Let me show you a, a fucking website called usa.gov slash benefits, okay? So whenever I hear... These fucking people talk about, well, the illegals are getting $1,500 gift cards. I mean, that should go to the American people. Uh, whenever I hear, oh, you're spending all this money over there in Ukraine. This needs to go to the American people. Oh, uh, yeah? I mean, the American people are a bunch of spoiled pieces of shit. All right? What? Hello, Mr. Politics. I must say I had a blast with your daughter at the shenanigans. Oh, Jesus Christ. I picked Christ. her up with my car and had some fun. Man, what a night. She is still breathless to this day. I heard you have a cute granddaughter. All Can right. I have that, her number? That's enough. Just shut up, asshole, all right? Take a look at all these fucking government programs for fucking American losers, okay? And, you know, I, that's why I don't give a shit about the homeless, all right, in America, all right? People that are homeless, they're homeless by choice. All right, people that are out there, man, I ain't got nothing. You want to know why you ain't got nothing? 
because you're you're probably too stupid to collect off the dole. Take a look at this shit. Look at food assistance. I'm hungry. Uh, uh, kids and children go hungry in America. Everybody goes hungry. I can't fucking stand hearing that shit. Look at this. Get emergency food assistance. How to apply for food stamps. SNAP program. Get food assistance with WIC. School meals and free programs for children. Food assistance for older adults. And if you happen to be a chief Slapaho Indian, you can get free food too. All right. I mean, oh, oh, I, you know, it's so hard to find a place to live. I, I don't know what I'm going to do, ghost. I'm poor in America. Oh, yeah? Take a look at housing help over here. How about emergency housing assistance? How about eviction and foreclosure? All right, so the government can give you some money so you don't get fucking evicted. How about that fucking shit? How about rental assistance? Uh, hey, you need a you need to fucking uh, uh, repair your shit box of a house. How about home repair efficiency assistance? Huh? How about some home buying assistance? Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, but I'm poor in America. I'm poor in America. I can't afford my utility bills because of inflation. Oh, yeah? Here's help with utility bills on top of that shit. All right? I'm tired of these fucking people in America pissing and moaning about all the ghosts. I'm going hungry. I'm poor. I, I mean, there's people sleeping on the street. They're sleeping on the street because they want to. They want to. And look at this benefit finder. Look at this, huh? Benefit finder, just in case you have some fucking relative that you just want to make sure that they, they, they got some fucking retirement, disability, or other government benefits, huh? How about some welfare? How about some fucking welfare? So let me tell you something. All of you American people, you native born, you people that are born here in America, you want me to feel sympathy for you? Huh? You want me to feel sympathy for the American people? My ass bleeds for the po in America, all right? My ass bleeds for the fucking po in America. Because let me tell you something. I'm about to pay fucking taxes, all right, personal and corporate. And let me tell you, I pay more than the average median income in this country in taxes. Oh, 2016 ghost would absolutely roast the shit out of 2024 ghost. You are like an Antifa yeah, member now compared to your past self. WTF happened? You fell off harder than 9-11 victims. Oh, that's great. That's fucking great. All right. If you hate the American people, then move. No. Uh, actually, we're, we're, we're going to bring in a whole new crop of American people that actually love this country. That would fight for this country. That's what we're doing. Because there's no changing you people. There's no changing you people. Every single one of the people that put together the project for a the new American century were Jews. All of Biden's cabinet are Jews. The Trotskyites that were banished from Russia took over the Republican Party and want Russia back. Uh, is that your is that your excuse? All right. Let me tell you, you moron. Vladimir Putin invaded uh, Ukraine and everybody told him that if he invaded Ukraine and even Biden said it, if boots are on the ground, then, you know, we're going to fucking uh, assist the Ukrainians. And that's what we've been doing. All right, that's how it is. I mean, we didn't initiate this fucking conflict. We didn't tell Russia, hey, you know, I'd go ahead and... I mean, if, if fucking Trump were in power, he wouldn't have given a shit. He would have given Ukraine to the goddamn Russians. And then what? Russia would have continued. Russia would have moved into the Balkans. It would have moved into Poland. It would have moved into Sweden. And guess what? Poland and Sweden aren't stupid. I mean, they're already putting themselves in an active war setting. All right, they're even telling their fucking goddamn population that there is a legitimate threat for a Russian invasion in Poland and in Sweden. Look it up. They would have done it. We've already done this shit with the Russians time and time again. All right, we did it with them in fucking the early 2000s. They raided fucking, uh, or they attempted to uh, invade Georgia, and then they got repelled back. Then Barack Obama and Hillary Rotten Clinton tried to do the Great Reset with the goddamn Russians, and the Russians annexed Crimea. All right? So, I mean, how many times do we have to fucking continue on with these goddamn Russians before we recognize that these fucking pieces of shit, you can't trust them as far as you can throw them? All right? But no, we've got all the MAGA crowd 
All right, literally sucking the schlong head of Vladimir Putin, literally wanting to be Russian, and I can't stand it. I, I, I'm not. I'm not down with this shit. I'm not down with this shit. And by the way, aside from all these uh, entitlements that any American can actually sign up for, all right, all these benefits. That, that these fucking Americans that claim that, oh, the, the government needs to do more for us. They're sending money to Ukraine. They're sending money to over here. They need to do more for the American people. <laughs> How much more? How much fucking more? Let me ask you something, you neocon Andy. What culture does America have? Compared to, say, Russia or the UK, what is our history? We don't have any anymore. The migrants and refugees you love have stolen that. We're a giant strip mall. A landing strip. What are you talking about, man? The people that came here were immigrants. Huh? Before America was any kind of a superpower. Remember Ellis Island and all the folks from Italy, all the folks from Ireland, all the folks from Europe that said, look, fuck this. I'm getting out of Europe. There's nothing for me here. This place sucks. I'm leaving. And guess what? We allowed them to come in here. Ellis Island, a whole massive amount of fucking immigrants. And guess what? Those people built the East Coast. The fucking people that we allowed in uh, to America from Ellis Island. They built the goddamn East Coast. And it took time. I mean, it didn't happen overnight. I'd buy that for a dollar. Look at this. Who the hell is we? Huh? I'm talking about America. All right? The people that love this country. Unlike you anti-American scum out here who would rather see Vladimir Putin take control of the world all right, than having America in control of the world. And look, there's no change in your minds. I mean, believe me, I know. There's no change in you idiots' minds. You people are stupid, you're set in your ways, and you think you know everything. So instead of trying to persuade you, why do you think Washington politicians aren't doing anything about the border? This broad, who is modern-day pop culture, who is some big fucking... <laughs> oh, Jesus. You know what your fucking problem is? Yeah, what's that? You don't listen. Uh, yeah? You refuse to listen to our legit concerns about this nation, and you demand that everyone agrees with you and kiss your ass. That's you not true. You refuse to admit you're wrong about anything. That's not true. Absolutely not. I was wrong to back up Donald Trump. I was wrong. I didn't see it. I, I never did I think that we'd be in this position in 2016. But let me, let me show you what modern day pop culture is, just to underscore why I believe that creativity, originality, and any kind of ambition has gone out the window in average everyday America. Ice Spice is the bitch I'm talking about. Ice Spice. Oh, Jesus. Why are you so pro-immigration now? You used to praise Trump for deporting and breaking up immigrant families. Now you want illegals to replace all Americans and want all young people to sign up for the military and die for Israel. That's not true. First of all, I didn't, uh, I didn't praise Trump for deporting immigrant families. I praised Trump for enforce, uh, to enforcing border policy that was already in existence. The whole reason why we have a porous border is because the current administration refuses to assert the already existing laws that are in existence. And Trump did. Although, if you take a look at the immigration numbers, they didn't fall very much during Trump. I mean, deportations did. Look at all these fucking government entitlements. I just went through them. You could call them, by the way, 844-USA-GOV-1, uh, uh, all right? And go ahead and be another contribution <laughs> to the unproductive, all right? I see is sexy AF. Use some pawn tubers SDFU. Also send me that link to the benefit finder. My legs be hurting, man. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. All right, that's what I thought. But believe it or not, it's not. I know a lot of these racists are like, it's all the blacks are on these programs. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. You want to see some stats here, huh? Let's go ahead. Let's just let's just look up welfare, because Donald Trump spent more money and put more money on the national debt than every president before him. And guess what? <laughs> Barack Obama that held that record. Dollar. Barack Obama You're held that record. You're the kind of guy that enjoys seeing Americans become a race of. Take a look at Texas. It's are a minority now. You're getting replaced by Hispanics. The of America is happening right in front of your face. Uh, well, I'll be completely honest with you. I mean, it, it's not horrible. I mean, these folks that come in from the South, from uh, Mexico and South America, they're not too crazy about LGBTQ people. All right? And I hate to say 
that the majority of Americans, most of them white, identify as LGBTQ. All right? I'm not even joking. They identify as LGBTQ. Here, let me see if I can find that. Uh, I think I have. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, your stream's cool and all, but I'm going to go watch Chris Chan stream instead of your. Bye. All right, well, get the fuck out of here. Nobody gives a shit, all right? Nobody gives a shit. Identifying as, uh, I, I, well, LGBTQ, LGBTQ. And yet, you've got Trump, and I'm gonna, I'm just going to show it to you one more again. Put the PC shot on. You've got Trump out here, who is supposed to be Mr. Anti-LGBTQ, <laughs> telling people to go and buy Bud Who's Light again. his culture ghost? Ever thought about that? Multi- societies don't work. They always balkanize. Humans are tribal and race will always trump any civic virtues. The less America gets, the worse it will become. Can't fix IQ. Well, I mean, I've tried to tell people, if you're that concerned about whites being eliminated, then why is it that most whites are a bunch of, I'm talking to younger guys, I'm not, there's some, there's some Chad whites out there, but most of the young people that go to these comic cons, that go to these gamer cons, that go to these fucking uh, cosplaying events, furry events, the majority of them are white. <laughs> and if you want my opinion, oh Jesus, what now? Oh God. I am Can you fucking take this shit off? Mad guy, mad guy. I am ride or die with Trump. Mad guy! I'm gonna fucking Mad call my lawyer Shekelstein Noseberg, dude. Donald Trump in a hell! I'm telling you I right now. Donald Trump in a hell! Mega! <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Every fucking was around Jeffrey Epstein. Mega! Dude, I. Alright, I've had enough of this fucking AI bullshit. I've had enough of this AI bullshit, man. USS Liberty, it was a fucking accident. I am ride or die with Trump MAGA! <laughs> well, this is the new MAGA, all right? Go out and buy Bud Light, courtesy of Trump. Bud Light ad was a mistake of epic proportions, and it, they pay in a very big price, and I want you to buy Anheuser-Busch now, okay? Don't boycott it no more, all right? Bill Gates told me not to boycott it because he, he dropped $100 million. This whole MAGA movement, we've turned, well, I, I shouldn't say MAGA, or me, I, I was a part of it. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, if you're sleepy, then get the fuck out of here. But now MAGA has turned into a subversive Russian, uh, unfucking believable dude. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm done with this show. You people are all a bunch of subverted fucking pieces of garbage. All right. You guys are all a bunch of subverted pieces of garbage that have your hand out, and you want entitlements, you want this, you want that, and if it isn't going to go to you, you're going to be like, you know what, Putin will give it to me. I love Putin. I love Putin. And uh, Mama Luigi hooked it up with a rumble rant and said, Bud Light might as well drink Tecate. Both are piss water. I, I like European beers, unfortunately. I, I like German beers. Uh, uh, Stella Artos is a Belgian beer, uh, but I like I like European beers. They have uh, great flavor. Uh, they have an integrity to them uh, when it comes to their beer making skills. So it is what it is. All right. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and end the show here, and let's go to some I guess totally useless I'd buy news. That for a dollar. Oh, Great Jesus. content, but get a new logo for the show already. It's been over eight years now. Just become a tuber or something at this point. VTuber? Hey, fuck you. I got your bitch, asshole. All right. Let's get to totally useless news here. Now, for all you folks that are concerned about the LGBTQ and its influence on America's pop culture, I think that you got to be, in my opinion, worried about something that's coming in the near future. No pun intended. And I'm talking about none other than the technosexual. The technosexual. Meaning, you know, you are going to have a relationship with some kind of an AI reacting robotic humanoid because human beings find you so grotesque and that's why you're alone uh, waxing your carrot, chafing it up so bad that they call you cauliflower schlong. All right? 
So this is where we're headed right now. And you know what? I mean, if this is where we're headed, I mean, this is... I mean, come on, man. I mean, and by the way, I wonder who the consumer is of this particular robotic uh, sexual toy product. I wonder what the demographic is is going to entail about these folks. Who Who's going to be the big consumer? I think you know. I think you all know. Anyway, uh, Colonel Transisco, hashtag TSR if Papa Smurf and Smurflet should take over. What the hell are you talking about? Anyway, look, I'm, I'm done. All right, you people have ruined this show. I actually wanted to get more uh, substance across. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that because I got bombarded with a bunch of troll terrorist garbage. These WWW bullshits. And as a result, I think that I'm being sabotaged by pro-MAGA, uh, you know, communist MAGA subverts. And uh, it's very sad that this is where we're at at this point in time in American politics. And if you want to know my perspective before I go, all right, let's take this fucking, all right, we took it off. I love this country. I love the opportunities that this country has given me. I love the economic opportunity. I love the freedom. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do you want immigrants to receive all our benefits, but you don't want actual American to get help from their government? I'll tell you. Also W. I'll tell you why. Less than greater than W. I'll tell you why, okay? Because most of those folks that are illegals that are here and that are being housed, they just want a fucking job. All right? They want to fucking work. Everybody that I have interacted with, the people that have been... Oh, I'd Jesus buy Christ. that for a dollar. What the fuck do you want, Mega Max, for Christ's sake? Is it because I said some shit about Little Red and that other fucking whore? What the fuck? What is this? Yo, racist commie Andy, I kind of feel bored, so I want to show you something interesting. You don't show it, you're a racist. It's your sick fucking feet fetish shit, dude. All right? And what is it with people with fucking feet fetishes? Dude, what the hell is this? Dude, look, look at this. What is up? You, you want to get kicked in the nuts? Is that your fetish? You want to get kicked in the nuts? Oh, my God. You want to get kicked in the nuts there? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. All right. Mega Max, you're a sick piece of shit, dude. You're a sick piece of crap. You're a real sick piece of trash. All right, that's enough. Oh, wait. She's going to stomp his face. Oh, God. Is this what you want? Mega Max, I mean, are you one of those guys like you want a woman to beat you and, you know, stomp on your goddamn balls and, you know, put put a cheese grater on your schlong or something? That, that's fucking sick, man. You know, that's fucking sick. You're a sick piece of... Get in the back of the dude where you belong, for Christ's sake, all right? And don't touch anybody while you're going back there, you fucking sicko. All right, folks. Anyway, look, uh, I hope that you enjoy the Super Bowl weekend. I certainly am going to uh, enjoy it. I'm actually going to try to appreciate it here. I hope that the 49ers beat uh, Mahomes and Mr. Pfizer Kelsey and that ridiculous dumbass always exploiting uh, uh, Taylor Swift. I'm tired of that shit. Although I don't think that they have a chance. I do think that the Chiefs are probably going to beat the 49ers, unfortunately. But there is a small chance in hell that the Niners may take it if they if McCaffrey, if he can get the, the ball running, I think they've got a legitimate shot. I think they have a legitimate shot, all right? Anyway, look, I don't know when the next Go Show is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be Monday or Tuesday, all right? But we are going to have a Go Show. Everybody who donated a video, you're going to be the first uh, on the next Go Show. And I know I'm probably going to be on there for fucking 10 hours or 12 hours or whatever the case might be. But until then, I'd like for everybody to please add your bookmarks and add your favorites. My official website, ghost.report. Now, we're, gonna, we're about to renovate ghost.report here in the next couple of weeks. And it's going to be, you know, be given some uh, different type of content, maybe some news, that sort of thing. So be on the lookout for that. And Megamax, wow, you said it and it was lighthearted thing or something. But of course, it was a big fat lie. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, all right? 
And by the way, if you haven't... <laughs> I'd buy that oh, for Jesus a dollar. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. What, what do you want, Vox Artificial? All right, what do you want? And Mama Luigi, no Saturday. Look at what these people did, Mama Luigi, for fuck's sake. I mean, I literally went 30 minutes of idiots donating. W, 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 W. Fucking literally 30 minutes of that shit. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, put the PC shot on. We got Vox Artificials. Bye, anti-American neo-Trotskyist. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, by the way. Yeah, that's great, Vox Artificial. Real, real swift, all right? Anyway, folks, thank you very much for tuning in with me. Uh, I don't know when the next ghost show is going to be. Uh, follow me on X or Twitter, all right? Put the PC shot on. Hold on. Here, it is. put the PC shot on, for fuck's sake. Uh, it is go The Ghost Report, all right? All one word, no underscores, The Ghost Report. Follow me on Twitter. And uh, if you haven't done so also, I'm also on Instagram, Capitalist Ghost, all one word, no underscores, Capitalist Ghost on Instagram. All right, folks? Anyway, look, I'm an American citizen. I am speaking for the people that are working hard. And you know who you are, the people that are working their asses off to maintain what they want what they have. I, I, that's who I'm speaking for, the capitalists, the taxpayers. I'm not speaking for the losers that aren't contributing anything to this country. Because if it wasn't for the working people, the people that are the taxpayers of this country, this country wouldn't be anything. And you fucking losers that are collecting entitlements wouldn't get a goddamn thing either. So I want to say cheers to everybody out there who is a working American person or a working person in general. All right, take pride in your labor. Take pride in your craft. Take pride in yourself. Because that's what most people in America have lost. They've lost pride in themselves. They've lost any kind of semblance of shame. And we're seeing the direct result of that right before our eyes. So once again, I want to say cheers to all of you that are taxpayers and that are productive members of society, that are family people. I, I, that, that's who I want to preserve. That's who I want to protect. I want to protect people that are Americans, and it doesn't matter who they are, as long as they love this country, as long as they're willing to protect the Constitution, as long as they're law-abiding citizens, and as long as they're taxpayers, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. I'm not on the side of these fucking losers that collect entitlements and pretend that they're autistic just so that they can collect disability, all right? I'm not on the side of these multi-generational pieces of loser trash that have been collecting entitlements for generation after generation. I'm not with these fucking people. I'm with the American people, the American working people, the American taxpayer, because they're the voice that is being left out in this vast country of fucking losers that don't want to do a goddamn thing. They don't want to work. None of that shit. So I want to say cheers to each and every one of you. And by the way, cheers to Jag the Lux Ray over there at D Live. I, I'm, I'm, that's who I'm speaking for. That's that's what I'm motivated for. I'm motivated for the American working person, the taxpayer, who's being left out of the conversation in all this political discourse. Who's being left out of the conversation when it comes to, hey, we need to increase entitlements for corporate America and regular America. I mean, I'm talking for you people. That's who I'm talking for, not these fucking stupid troll terrorist idiots who are probably being taken care of by their dickless parents, which they should be thrown out in the fucking street. I love this country, and I, I would die for this country, but I ain't dying so that these fucking stupid losers can continue to collect entitlements. And that's what's pissed me off ever since the beginning of my show back in 2008 was the loser, unproductive class of people in this country. And what I want is I want a productive group of people that love this country, that pay taxes for this country, and that would fight for this country. And the rest of the people that won't, fuck you, all right? Fuck you! I'm for the American working person, the taxpayer, not for you fucking useless eaters, all right? Not for you useless eaters! Anyway, urinator, no balls, you won't open up the phone lines, let us talk shit to you. Yeah, I would have if there wouldn't have been like 30 or 40 minutes of W, 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 and that shit, all right? 
Anyway, I'm getting the fuck out of here. There's a fucking chopper over my fucking house. The fucking feds are probably over here. I'm out of here. Happy Baller Friday to the capitalist. Happy Baller Friday to the taxpayer. And happy Baller Friday to the real American patriots out there that make this country go round. Cheers to you all. I'm out of here. <laughs> Woo!